Hi guys, hope you all have a fantastic day. Well, today we need to change a thermostat on our Lada. So yeah, back again, more maintenance. But yeah, this is good thing to do. This is one of the best thing you can do to make sure your Neva is running good because if your Neva is overheating, that's not good. This engine really don't like to get overheat. So better to change it than don't. So yeah, this is why I'm changing it. There isn't any problems at the moment, but it's the original one. So it's time to change it. It's been in the car for more than 15 years. So it's time to change it. Let me show you what else we're gonna change. Well, first we have our new thermostat. Then I'm gonna change a thermo switch. That's what's turning on your fans to cool your ladder down. So I'm gonna change it just in case. And when we removed everything, I'm gonna change all the pipes so that we have awesome new ones. So yeah, this is everything we're gonna change. Now let's get in the engine bay. So yeah, you can remove everything like this, but just to have a little bit more space for you to see and me to film, I'm gonna remove this air box. I'm gonna disconnect it right here and then you're gonna have a lot lot more room. So yeah, let's go. Airbox is out and now we have a lot more room to see what we need to replace. So the thermostat is right here and if you go right here, if you can see where is my finger, this is, let me show you better, this is where the thermo switch is so this right here there's not a lot, a lot of room but this you just need to disconnect this clip and then you need to remove this it's just a nut you loosen it and you can remove it so yeah but first we need to go all down there and remove this drain bolt for the radiator so it's right there so yeah let's remove it okay we are from the other side and now we can see where is that drain bolt a little bit better so you should just be able to loosen it with your hand and that's it now you let it drain and put some bucket underneath and of course for better flow you can open your radiator and now it's going so yeah we're gonna wait a couple of seconds for this to drain so the coolant is pretty much drained now we need to loosen this shell you need to remove this you just need to follow the thermostat to find everything and we need to remove a move one more down there so yeah now we just need to take all this out Okay, so the old one is out and he looks nasty. So when you co compare it to the new one, it's awesome. So now it's time to put these three hoses like the old one. So yeah, you just need to copy everything and make it nice. Let's go. Okay, so everything is ready and everything is loosened so that you can put this clamp as you can tighten. So this is the reason why I didn't tighten again thermostat and then if you need to correct 
a hose in some way you can do it so this is ready for install but before that we are gonna change the thermal switch so yeah let's go So the old thermal switch is replaced and it looks pretty nasty so I'm happy that I replaced it. And once again for you to see where it's located because it's really hard to record and to replace it in general is not a lot of space. So you need a 19 mm wrench and so when you're looking at the engine like this you go over it. And now you can see a shiny new thermal switch right there. So yeah, that is what you need to replace. This right here. Okay, so now when we know where the thermal switch is and we replaced it, now I'm gonna remove it off the camera. I'm just gonna replace the front radiator hose, upper, sorry, and then we can put our thermostat back together. So yeah, let's go. So everything is back together. Now I need to put some fluid in and let it warm up so yeah let's do that and it looks awesome everything is tightened hopefully no leaks so yeah let's put the fluid in so she doesn't want to suck any more distilled water in so now it's time to turn the engine on and you need to be close to the radiator so that you can always feel fill it up so now it's just important to be here while everything fills up and then we are done Everything is closed, everything is good, not there, and to help everything uh, get coolant, you can just squeeze, now they're relatively hard and still hot, so you can squeeze those uh, hoses the same underneath to get everything a little bit quicker, and that's pretty much it. And don't be scared if you if uh, the car is like on the indicator starting to overheat it's let's say normal but if you don't want to do that you just shut it off leave it for a couple of minutes then turn it back on that's how i did it because i don't want my car in any second to overheat so when you feel like your car is going to overheat you shut it down leave it for two minutes in these two minutes you squeeze all the hoses to try to get as much air as possible out of those hoses and then turn it back on and you do the same until everything is nice and good and your Lada is not sucking in any more coolant. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But there is always something, I don't know what, but it's going to be something because bleeding Lada for coolant is... A little bit harder and I don't know why it just ends the engine that doesn't like coolant so yeah it is what it is well guys this is it for this video in the future I'm gonna change the water pump but for now this is good I just want to change the thermostat because they are known to fail so yeah change it Whew. so guys what I can say more is to like, share and subscribe. Guys, see you in the next video.